Hey there. Alright, so big announcement this video. Um, as you probably saw in the introduction to me talking here, um, you probably noticed that this is the same place we came to last week, last month. Um, the thing we did not want to reveal at that time... Alright, I interrupted the video to take you into our living room. Um, I thought it was only fair for Amy to be present when we made this announcement. Um, yes, the property I'm at is the same one that we were at at the last end of last month. Um, the reason we were out there is we were actually checking it out um, after purchasing it. And after purchasing <laughs> it. <laughs> and this time around, we uh, I'm out here, or I was out there, to go ahead and start prepping it so we can go out there more often. Um, Amy wasn't with me this time around, unfortunately. It was cold. I don't want to. It was cold. <laughs> it was cold, as you'll see in the video. But I'll switch us back to the video itself. But we are excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's a lot of work to do out there, but you're going to be joining us every step of the way. And judging all the things we do. <laughs> Absolutely. Alright, back to camping. That is exciting news. This is a completely undeveloped piece of, piece of land up in the mountains, and it allows us to just do whatever we want. It's gorgeous, it has a creek running through it, it has rocks and boulders, and it's just, it's my kind of place, and it's freaking amazing. That being said, um, this week I came out by myself. I didn't bring the dogs, I didn't bring Amy. Reason being is I want to kind of get a couple of things ready. Um, I want to build a bench, I want to build a chair, I want to explore the property, I need to put a couple of signs up, um, stating this is private property. So as I'm doing all this, I just wanted to take some video and show you guys what I'm up to, and I hope you enjoy. Um, since we're spot talking, one of my first courses of action is one. It's going to be let Amy know I made it, which I have to use GPS for because, yeah, there's no signal out here. <laughs> and then two, um, I want to go ahead and get a couple of things cut down and get a fire started because it is kind of chilly. Plus, I want to start kind of burning off some of the brush and stuff that's around here as well. Once I get the fire started, I'll start exploring and kind of go from there. All right. All right, let me just kind of explain what's going on here. Um, so there's an old hiking trail that comes in from where the truck is parked into what is eventually going to be our base camp. Um, but it is overgrown with trees and saplings that are growing through it. So first thing I wanted to do was to go ahead and cut those out, um, clear that path. So when I start working on the patio furniture later, um, that's going to be set around the campfire. I actually have a way of bringing that lumber into the, uh, again, the base camp. All right, last branch to come off, and then I'm gonna sit down for a minute as to uh, not sweat too much, and then go ahead and get all the lumber. All right. So this is our makeshift fireplace, or fire ring from last time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reuse it again. 
Uh, we do want to make a proper fire um, pit, but that's not. This is not the weekend for me to do that. All right. So there's another gentleman on another YouTube channel, uh, the Gray Bearded Green Beret. I'll link a video up to him. His method of creating a fire is interesting. He'll essentially create a platform for the fire to sit on. Instead of breathing under it, if you need to, you just lift up the fire. So I think I'm gonna do the same thing and try it out and see how it works. I'm no fancy bushcrafter. Um, I'm just gonna use a store-bought tinder or a fire starter and that should get this going pretty easy. have to go ahead and be a fancy bushcrafter. Match as it is. All right, well, that was embarrassing. Luckily, I went ahead and I brought some matches too, just in case the lighter gets soaked or whatever else. fire's going. I uh, boiled up a little bit of water. I didn't bring much water out and I figured if I just keep filling up a quarter of a bottle of water with boiling water, the water will be cool enough to drink. And I'm just kind of sitting here relaxing, the uh, kind of thinking about life in general, I suppose. It's interesting, if somebody would have asked me, I don't know, two, three, even four years ago, if I was ever gonna get married, I would have said, hell no. If somebody ever asked if I would've owned a property, sharing it with somebody, out in Oklahoma, out of all places, I would have said, hell no. But here I am. Beautiful day out, man. Um, I don't know, I think it's about 45, maybe 50 degrees out right now. So, sun's out, barely a cloud in the sky. All I hear is water running behind me and the fire going back there. If you just take a moment to appreciate what you got, life's really not that bad.
based on how this is set up. This is an amazing watering hole for the summer. I'm kind of in between the south and the north here, so it should get pretty warm up here still during the summertime. And that's, that will be an amazing spot just to kind of chill out and cool off after hard days of work. Our plan is to keep the like base camp essentially where the fire is right now, right? The base camp there, um, tent up a little higher, set up some benches and maybe a chair just for us to kind of cook and do our thing at at night. And then eventually set up a cabin further up the, the hill there. The uh, question I just have to ask myself do I have to worry about rain? How high does the water line go if it rains? Guess there's only one way to find out. Okay, so regarding the uh, bench build, um, there's a uh, YouTube channel out there called Rogue Engineer. I'll put it up here, including the video I'm using to build this. Uh, I guess he just builds things, and on one of those videos he built a, um, it's just a simple bench out of four two by eights that are eight feet long. Um, so that means very simple lumber, very just a couple of deck screws, and some basic tools. I brought the cordless drill and the cordless um, circular saw. Extra hands help, so I did bring some clamps as well. Um, again, his video is up here. I asked, check him out. He explains how to do this a whole lot better. I'll just give you guys a quick little montage of me building it. And then next time I speak, hopefully I'm sitting comfortably on that bench. Bench is built. Uh, should be pretty straightforward and simple. I have new tools, and it was not pretty straightforward and simple. Um, the angles just threw me way off. But you know what? Bench is built. It's rock solid. The plants were good. Um, I will say this about the plants, though: they're loose plants. You're gonna have to make some adjustments yourself um, based on how your angles go and so forth. So make sure you don't. Pre-cut, just kind of go along as you build it. 
the rest of the evening, I got to go ahead and build my shelter. It's just the tent. And then uh, just relax by the fire, make some dinner. I know uh, camping trips, people always want to see the setup. It's very straightforward for me. It is going to get cold at night, cold to my standard. We're talking roughly about 20s, mid 20s. Uh, so I have a double person inflatable mattress with me. I have a sleeping bag liner, which really the only purpose for it is, is to kind of take away the sting of the mattress. Um, I prefer a quilt over a sleeping bag, so I got my sleeping bag quilt, which this guy's rated down to 32 degrees. Um, what I don't know if it's comfort level or survival level. Um, so should I get too cold, I also got my wool blanket with me as well. Um, Head-wise, I usually just use a, use a sweater. Um, I will also heat up a hot water bottle tonight and stuff it in here just to kind of help with uh, keeping warm. Uh, yeah, that's my setup. Oh man. Well, sun's setting. That means it's, it's about right time to go ahead and get dinner started. Oh man, it's been a day. Got a lot accomplished though, I think. Having that trail cleared up, having the bench built to sit on. Oh man. It's amazing being out here. Like there's, there's no sound in the world. Well, sound of nature, right? But no, no city sounds. I don't have service out here. I don't know if I told you guys this. This is what got me started working on the teardrop. Just being out, doing my thing. Disconnecting. I'm, I'm like most of y'all. I, uh, I work nine to five. Well, nine to six, technically. Uh, I just do IT, I, I do customer support. People call, I fix it. You just get kind of tired of talking to people. So this is what I need to, to unwind, and this is perfect for that. Dinner is simple. It's just steak with vegetables and uh, some corn. Nothing special, but satisfying. I'll make sure to take a video of that too. All right, like I said, simple dinner. Just diced potato. I got a pre-seasoned steak from Walmart. Nothing crazy. 
sometimes I don't think I want crazy when I go camping. Sometimes simple is handy dandy. I bought this Ozark Trail stove set or camping set from Walmart, right? Stuff is so cheap. It feels like aluminum even though it says it's steel. Get some oil going. Oh, it's already shimmering. That pan's hot. Hot, hot, hot. sure if you can tell but I'm working off of an incline here it's just not not the best working setup all right I never did claim to be a good bushcrafter so Ow. oh okay that hurt all right so I never did claim to be a good bushcrafter uh, fire just wasn't working out, so I ended up pulling up my fire stove here. And Sting has saved me in a pinch a couple of times. It's pretty awesome. I don't even want my vegetables to be necessarily like super cooked. Kind of looking forward to just some crunch behind them, but I do want a little bit of warmth in them though. So I'm just going to steam them, I guess, for just a few minutes. Tell me that's not a beautiful looking dinner. Steak, potatoes, veggies, what more does a person really need? Oh, oh good morning folks. All right, last night was rough. I, uh, I thought I was prepared for the cold, but man, I was not. Uh, I know I made a couple of mistakes, not thinking about how cold it was gonna be. I didn't put the rain fly on my tent, which would've kept some heat in. My, I didn't bring enough blankets. Um, the sleeping bag is low quality. So last night I was cold. I even got up at one point to make myself a hot water bottle, but it didn't help. I ended up sleeping in the truck, turning the truck to warm up every hour or two. Uh, so yeah, I went ahead and I went to Walmart today um, and I picked up a blanket. I also picked up a heating blanket. Hopefully I can power it a little bit using my little battery pack that I brought. Um, the plan for the day is also I want to explore. Um, we have a big 11 acre property here 
I want to go ahead and see how far out it takes us. Put up a couple of private property signs and maybe work on fixing the uh, the fire pit since I was struggling so much with it last night with it being slanted and all. So yeah, that's the plan today. I uh, hope you guys join me. I like this little mini stove. It's just it doesn't take a lot of wood and it burns through it so fast. Luckily, the stuff it needs is abundant everywhere around here. Now, I do my oatmeal pretty much the same as everybody else. Oatmeal, some nuts, some brown sugar. But for me, I also add in some milk powder. So it makes it just a little bit creamier than just water-based oatmeal and I like it. Why did I put it into the bowl at first and then back in the pot? Because I forgot I didn't use instant oatmeal. Gotta let it cook a little bit. Make sure it gets creamy and all that fun stuff. I let some of this water evaporate and then it should be good to go to eat. A lot of people don't like oatmeal. It can be slimy and gross. But man, is there anything better while camping, especially if it's this cold? Yeah. So to prepare for another cold night tonight, I uh, went ahead and I put the rain fly onto the tent. I usually like to keep it off, but um, for the winter time I need to go ahead and put it on. That's gonna help retain some of the heat inside the tent. Also, while I was at Walmart, I uh, picked up a heating blanket. I'm gonna run a bit of an experiment out here. I'm kind of curious to see how much wattage this thing pulls on my battery um, to see if it's a viable option to maybe just at least heat up to 10 before I go in, you know? Let's see. All right, so what you're seeing this goofball doing at this point is just trying to figure out how to measure this output on this blanket and see if it's even an option at night. Of course, for some reason, I have to try the blanket on as well. I don't know. Um, and yes, I did look at the instructions and everything else, but it just didn't help. Anyways, back to me blabbing some more in the video. Okay, so the way the blanket works, it doesn't have a low wattage, high wattage, medium wattage, it's just how hot does it get before it turns off? Um, it will always drain 110 while it's on. It's just if you're on low, it'll just not be on for as long. So. It will be a viable option for me to go ahead and put on all my stuff. Just turn it on for about 10 minutes, get everything nice and cozy before I jump in. Uh, can't leave it on all night, of course, but that's what I have the sleeping bag and the two blankets with me, right? Well, 
I went to explore. Uh, we have a huge property. We haven't even seen half of it. But man, this is a hell of a place. It's all overgrown with trees and rocks. So, not easy to, to navigate. Plus, I'm very novice when it comes to navigating, so I don't even know exactly how to find all my coordinates. I was going to try and find the corners of the property. But, man, it is quiet out here. And when I mean quiet, no technology. Um, it's just animals. I've seen grasshoppers jump around. Unfortunately, I've seen ticks climb on me. So I need to make sure I get that checked out. Uh, but overall, this is, this is an amazing place. It is going to be a lot of work for us to get to a point to where we want it to be, though. But I'm excited to do it. This is what I live for. This is amazing. Okay, so I contemplated not even showing this footage here. I uh, don't think it's great shot. Um, it's shaky. Obviously the focus isn't great. And, uh, but it does get the point across. Um, it's a beautiful property. Lots of um, opportunity here. It's just going to take a lot of work. But this is, this is all ours and we are so happy with it. All right, well, uh, end of the day today, rolling up here soon too. Got a lot done today. Um, explored the property a bit, realized that we have a lot, a lot of work to do, but exciting work. I'm, I can't wait to get started. Um, I did move to fire pit, so no longer are we in that crooked space we were before. We actually have a proper fire pit now with a little keyhole dugout as well, so I can do a bit of cooking over the fire. Um, got all of the private property signs hung up today. I didn't show a video of that. I'll, I'll show you guys a little walk around tomorrow. Um, yeah, this is exciting. I can't wait. Like, is this stuff that I've always wanted? Just a small plot of land up in a mountain somewhere that I can call, call mine. Um, the only thing that makes it even better this time is I'm sharing it with somebody I'm going to spend the rest of my life with, which I didn't realize was going to happen. So, um, yeah. Tonight's dinner, uh, chicken sausage. And just some of the veggie kebabs. I'm just going to grill those up. And uh, kind of just go from there. quiet evening tonight. I can hear the creek going, but there's no rustling, there's no, no animals howling. Um, it was a very busy day in this, pro in this community today. A lot of, a lot of work being done um, by my neighbors and it's all quieted down now and it's just chill. I like it. I like it a lot.
tell me that's not a pretty plate. This is good stuff. It's funny at home. We sit there and we, we make these like extravagant meals. Every Sunday we do different dinners, trying to come up with different cultures or different things that we haven't tried. But I don't know. Some veggies and chicken sausage and I'm happy. Well, day three out here, uh, another morning, another bowl of oatmeal, man, last night was interesting, um, I wasn't as cold as I was on the first night, but my mattress deflated, so around 6am this morning it started getting cold from the ground, which was just very uncomfortable. Um, I think I'm going to give up on inflatable mattresses, I always have this problem. Uh, also, the coyotes were having some fun last night. Uh, they woke me up about three or four times, just howling and giggling in the background somewhere. That's, that's something new for me. I haven't spent a lot of time in the mountains, so... Hearing the animal noises... Um, being afraid of bears a little bit, which I realize up here they exist, but they're not They're not in abundance. So I'm not gonna have to worry about them too much. Just kind of hide my food and stuff It is beautiful morning uh, Weather is gorgeous not a cloud in the sky Goal today is just go ahead and build that reclining chair. I guess is the best way to call it and kind of level out the bench a bit and then probably head on home. Um, it is unfortunately back to work tomorrow. But first, we feast. All right. First of all, today has to be the most beautiful day ever. I mean, I don't have a thermometer. Uh, and down here in the valley the cold kind of settles in so it's a little chillier than up top But I'd wager it's probably in the mid 50s, maybe even 60s right now. It feels amazing So with all that being said Like I mentioned earlier, um, the only plan for today is to go ahead and build uh, a chair That I can leave out here. It's gonna be done with uh, pressure treated lumber that way it stays and it won't rot while we're not here. Um, it's also by the Rogue Engineer. It's called the Adiron DAC Chair. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but it's supposed to be beginner friendly. Only tools I really should need is... Well... Speed squares, circular saw. I mean, it shouldn't need much. It's basic angles. Kind of learned some tricks yesterday while I was working on the bench. Hopefully that'll help me go ahead and get this done. I swear you would think for somebody who puts a, who's building a teardrop trailer, I'd be more comfortable with tools, but as you've seen, if you follow my teardrop trailer, I'm learning every step I'm going. Okay, so um, I'll be cutting some pieces together and uh, go from there.
man. Well, the chair is done. This took a lot longer than I thought it would. It is a beginner's bench. No question about it. If you're not used to using a circular saw to make angles, if you don't bring a jigsaw, this is a pain in the ass. I should have read the uh, I should have read the instructions first before and skimmed through and make sure I had everything with me. I think a jigsaw would have probably cut an hour off of this project. I uh, ended up having to improvise using the circular saw, using a hand saw that I brought. Also, I ran out of power out here. Uh, I thought the little 300 watt battery bank would be enough to power the tools, but it ran out of power too. So, but it's done. It's comfortable. Oh, it just means now I gotta go. It took a lot longer to do this, so now I gotta wrap up, pack up, and start heading out of here. I hope these things last out here. They're made out of pressure treated wood. They should. Unfortunately, I think what's gonna run into problems is the uh, quality of the wood. And honestly, my, my skill with what I did out here today. We'll see if the stuff survives next time and go from there. Well, I'm just going through now and uh, picking up all the trash. I just wanted to go ahead and wrap up and say thank you guys so much for watching this weekend. I really did have a blast out here. Um, we are so excited to call this our second home. And yeah, uh, look forward to more videos from out here. There's going to be a lot of manual labor, um, very budget friendly clearing and stuff like that because we can't afford to get bulldozers and stuff out here. Um, but we plan on eventually having a cabin out here. We do eventually plan on having this set up to where we can just come out and enjoy our weekend without having to do a bunch of back packing up at home. It'll be a lot of fun. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And uh, remember, we do have a blog at rightamountofcampy net as well as our Instagram at right amount of campy. Thank you so much and I'll see you next week. Mm.